Yo guys, it's at Girl Crystal here, and in today's video, I'm doing a tutorial on the Raycast shader, which is quite popular for MMDs to use, as it makes the models look more realistic with the backgrounds, etc. But in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use this Raycast shader without needing a skybox. It's fairly simple. So first of all, we're going to go to mo uh, model manipulation and just load up the model that you're going to test this on. For me, I'm going to use this um that's the miku model as i've worked with this one before using the Vika shader you know most models i'm aware of work with this so it should be okay to go so once you've loaded up your model um you're going to go into model, model manipulation again and go to your Vika shader i'm going to put all the downloads in the description box below so when you go into the Raycast shader, go onto tools and this file here, you will need to extract it and then you go to template and you load up the skybox here. Well, it's not actually skybox. It'll come up with this error. This is what you need. Once you've loaded up this error box, it should slightly change the model shade. And now we'll go into accessory manipulation and load up this Ray X file. This will take up to three minutes to load onto a slow laptop or PC. As you see, it shows up the loading button cursor thing here. Um, okay, so now it's loaded up, your model will look like this. Go onto the top right corner and click on effects mapping. Once you've done this, click on MV light map. Click on the imaginary sky box and go onto the Grand Canyon file and make sure you click this one here, the Skylighting HDR. This once again takes quite a while to load up, usually, like longer than the other one. Okay, so it's now loaded up. Uh, don't fret if it looks a bit weird. Simply get rid of the coordinate axis on here. Now for your model, you're going to have to load up the main effect for the shader. And it now looks a lot more realistic on the fabric. So now I'm going to show you how to use the controller for the Raycast shader. Just simply mess about with it until you get your desired look for the model. So you can change the direction lighting to something that suits the background of the stage you're going to use and it can go really bright so I usually keep it about a quarter away you can even change the sort of lighting but the brighter you do obviously the less realistic it'll be depending on what sort of scene you've got so just simply mess about until you get your desired look I tend to try and make the fabric look a lot realistic when I'm trying to use this As you can see, the fabric and the model itself looks absolutely stunning. And you can use all sorts of effects. It's really fun to mess about with for your animations. And it's got plenty of effects you can use. It's just really good to use and I can overstate a lot more. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to use the ambient lighting. So simply go onto lighting and choose one of your like ones you're gonna use. So I'm gonna click on ambient light. You want this not to be displayed, but you need to move it to where you need it to be first. So move it up to the face of the model and move it back. Move it up again and rotate it. And simply choose the shaders you need to use. First of all, you need to increase the intensity and register this. And you know, you can change it like this. 
if you mix them all about a quarter way it'll look a lot more natural like this so that's how you use recast shader guys thanks for watching bye